What's up everyone, Arctic here, giving you uh, another commentary to know it's been a while on the Gears of War 3 beta. I'm playing here with Skyless on the map Old Town. Uh, I believe I'm using Lancer, yes, Lancer, Shotgun, Nasher, Loadout. Uh, this is kind of similar to my gameplay from Machinima on the Team Tactics uh, gameplay if you guys happen to watch that. I'll link it uh, somewhere in the video if you haven't checked it out already. I am holding down the center of the map um, and uh, Skyless is playing the right side. Well, it'd be left side right now, but uh, right side based off how I'm facing. Uh, he's playing the Digger uh, boom shot area. And I am pretty much uh, trying to abuse the Lancer. That's pretty much what I was doing the last uh, weekend of the beta. Uh, just so you guys know, I am not playing the beta right now. Again, this is stockpile footage that we have. Um, and I have not been able to post. Uh, well, last week, obviously, I couldn't post anything because I was at E3. had an automatic uh, video uh, posted. Let me see, on the 3rd, that was the day before I left, and I haven't had anything since. So, uh, feels good getting back into the groove, getting uh, videos and commentaries going. I posted an, also posted a new gameplay, uh, King of the Hill gameplay, on uh, the amazing MLG channel, which is just raw gameplay from a variety of games that uh, all the members of our team play. So, you guys can find like Battlefield, Call of Duty. Uh, there's Gears of War, StarCraft, is, we're just not posting that because Cali North plays a lot of StarCraft. Um, so if you guys haven't checked out that channel and you're not subscribed to it, uh, make sure you check that one out. Again, that's a lot of gameplay. You probably haven't seen it yet. Um, and if you have, uh, you, you guys know that we're posting regularly uh, over there, new gameplays. Uh, with this video, like I said, it's kind of like the Team Tactics video. I'm playing the center of the map. So you guys can watch that to kind of get an idea of my mindset for uh, how to play this area. Um, this gameplay, I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about E3 a little bit because uh, I'm I don't know if I'm going to do like a full uh, what is it like a kind of like a montage or a triptage of uh, the whole event. I might throw something together. Uh, just really want to get back into the groove with uh, doing gameplays and commentaries. Uh, it was, I was so busy while I was there, it was really hard for me to upload anything um, until I got home, which is why you guys saw uh, videos come up throughout the week, uh, this past week. It's just just so busy with Razer. Um, going back and forth, I had to be there every hour to give a, an Anza presentation, so it was really hard for me to walk around um, and see a lot of games, but I did try to get as much as I could. Um, I couldn't get into Modern Warfare 3 because it was a press only uh, thing and I was there as, as, as an exhibitor uh, with Razer. Didn't have a press badge on so um, couldn't get in on that so I got the theatrical trailer which I'm sure you guys saw. A lot of people um, from what I've gathered aren't too happy with the graphical power, prowess of uh, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 kind of looks like Modern Warfare 2 to be honest so uh, I saw some points on that the other big game that I really could not get at all I mean if you would go over there once I got there at the event uh, the venue I had to be there early and the lines were still two three hours long and I just couldn't wait in a line that long because I had to report to uh, um, the Razor booth to give my Anza presentation so it's just really difficult for me to play like some of the bigger games just because lines were so long I only got to play one uh, horde session. I waited, a funny story, I waited. Um, before I had to give an Anza presentation, I went down to the uh, Gears of War 3 um, stations where they were doing horde on the very second day. The first thing I did, <clears throat> I get all the way to the line, like right there where I was about to play. I was literally the next group up. And I got a message, a text message to go um, get ready for Anza presentations. So uh, one of my sessions to play some Gears of War was uh, inadvertently ended rather abruptly because of uh, my Anza presentation. So, I mean, that's, that's just what it was like there for me. I, I really wanted to see more. I wanted to play more games, but I just couldn't because I had other obligations. I'm hoping that Skyless... 
um, since he's back in operation. He got a new pretty baller um, desktop PC, so he's playing a lot of PC games now, and uh, I'm sure he's going to be able to throw down some commentaries on some videos and stuff. I know he still has a lot to say about E3, uh, so I'm expecting him to give his impressions because he got to play a lot more than I did. Um, I think he played three rounds of Gears of War 3. He played Beast Mode on the very first day. Uh, I saw him in line, I think, two or three times for Horde the second day. And uh, I don't know what he did on th third day. He played uh, Gotham City Imposters. So he might do a little bit of uh, uh, discussion about that game as well. So, um, you know, overall, for my first time, I think the event itself is really overwhelming. I mean, there's just so much to do. Uh, so many different games to see. There's like people and uh, exhibitors and like little nooks and crannies uh, around the the show floor. So it's really hard to see everyone. But I felt like I got, um, and my strategy was to try to get as many videos as I could in a condensed amount of time. So I had to take like one to three minute uh, video shorts of different games and different gameplays. And I'm thinking about posting some more over on the Amazing MLG channel just so I don't flood this because um, we have to get back on our regular posting schedule and uh, I have to get some Machinima stuff out. So, yeah, I mean, the event was uh, really fun. I would love to go there next year as press, um, which I'm probably going to try to do just so I don't have any obligations except to, you know, get content out and post it literally immediately after I get it uh, or at the end of the day that's how a lot of guys do it so that's that's my game plan for next year um, my girlfriend went with me I mentioned that she played uh, Disney Universe and you guys saw the back of her on the Rayman Origins gameplay so uh, um, she had a good time she played quite a few games I uh, was kind of surprised kind of surprised and like I said she did the camera work on the uh, Gotham City Imposters so um, yeah, she did a good job I was in, I was impressed her first time at E3 my first time at E3 Stylus's first time at E3 Cali North was also there his first time at E3 great great event looking forward to next year guys I really hope you guys enjoyed the coverage and we're about to get back into the swing of things for Gears of War content and uh, other stuff so I'll check you guys later be sure to uh, subscribe and like this video. See ya.